Oh, hey, hey, how you doing? I didn't even realize you were here. What's going on, man? I was just listening to Keith Jarrett. You know, haven't you ever heard these people play and you wonder, man, I would love to do that, but I would love to get some of those movements into my own songs. So that's what we want to do today is we want to find out how to incorporate some of Keith Jarrett's playing into your own hymns, into your own songs. Awesome lesson today. Let's look at it. What we need is an what we need is an ear for patterns so that we can hear where to place it. So look at the first movement. We're gonna do three movements today. Let's just do the first one. He's moving that chord progression there that moves down to the five. Check this out. There's that phrase that he does. I want to put that in the hymn. Where can I put it? How about holy, holy, holy? How about holy, holy, holy? Persons, blessed Trinity. Because see, I'm not, I don't have to, I don't have to make up things. I just have to think of things that are going to fit within the structure of the song. The chords are already there. Here we go. Now we got a Keith Jarrett movement in our hymn. Here's the movement, E, B flat, play a D chord in the right hand, and play an E and a B flat in the left. Then what I want you to do is take every single note except the top note and move it down a half step. So the E goes to an E flat, the B flat goes to an A, the D goes to a C sharp, the F goes to, the F sharp goes to F. Okay, so then the chord changes to that. Then after that, you wanna go to a sus voicing, which is gonna be a D, G, A, C, E, A. Hold this voicing down, that's the third chord there. And then from here, you wanna go from a G to an F sharp, and then from an E to an E flat. And then you're gonna have this chord, cause remember, we're trying to move to the five. And since we're in the key of F, we're trying to move to the five. Because normally, holy, holy, holy would go. God in three persons, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. We would be on the five. And I knew that his movement was moving towards the five. But instead of playing the five, when we get to this chord here, you're going to play this chord. This is replacing the five. It gets closer to the five, but it's not actually there. And I want you to listen to, listen to that chord. See, that's the chord right there. So, blessed Trinity. Now you can resolve it. Now you can resolve it, Trinity. All right, so that's the first place you can use it. Um, so let's try it. Now, 
Notice how I change the timing of the notes. Okay, so that's one place that you could use it. Amazing Grace. Look how simple these are. Keith Jarrett. But now I see. How about we just stay there? You don't even see, we don't even need to go to the five. Who would have thought I could have was blind, but now I see. That's a Keith Jarrett chord right there. Beautiful. So that's a beautiful progression, a beautiful place to put it, just giving you lots of ideas on where you can put these things and very easily and very quickly showing you how transcribing is, which is the thing that I'm big on, how transcribing can help you so much to add things to vocabulary. You're tired of playing the same old way. You're tired of using the same old chords. Okay, watch this video. Watch the original video on Keith Jarrett. Jarrett, wouldn't take you too long to figure some of this stuff out and add it to your own place to playing, but you gotta listen for patterns. You gotta listen when you're hearing something to see when can I apply it. And there's some of y'all need to go and work and start developing your ear and stop trying to develop your chord so much and learn to develop your ear so you can hear where you can put these things. This is called placement. All right, let's go to the second movement. Okay, I gotta find my next movement we can use. Hmm. See, because in that movement, he's moving to the four. Hmm. Here's a four here, we're in the key of F. So this is, can be a movement. You're talking about when can I use this? You wanna know when can I use it? You wanna move it when you're moving to the four. Going from an A. Let's teach you the movement. Movement's gonna be in the right hand, go C, E, F, G, A, A. Okay. And in the left hand, I want you to go when you hit that E, hit a, a G and a C this at the same time. And then when you hit the G, raise the C to a C sharp. So it sounds like this. Now, when you hit that A, hit an F at the same time. And you can be, you can be, you can be a little bit, uh, you can hit that F whenever you want. You can do a little bit earlier. See that? Sounds really good. This is over an A. Okay? And you could trill up to the E. And then you hit your B flat chord. Where can we use it? Let's, let's, um, I wanna, I'm just showing you how easy this stuff is to implement and, and, and to put to your own playing. You guys, there's hundreds of ideas here that we could use. Tis so sweet. Uh. I gotta find out where I'm gonna put the four. I could put it here. Yeah, how I prove more and more. Da, 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 da. I could put it there. So. And I don't even have to play the B flat. Jesus, Jesus. Right, and here I, I went to the six because I heard a four. That's why I teach I, I teach you to use your ear and not depend so much on theory. I want you to use, I want you to depend on your ear, okay? I want you to depend on your ear to make musical decisions, all right? So how about um, Jesus, Jesus. And then O for grace. O 
for grace. See that? Y'all see how easy it is to implement some of these things, some of these ideas? Keith Jarrett. Yeah, and I'm, I'm gonna still listen to this and just try to find one more for you guys. And ladies, so we're gonna uh, just make sure that, you guys see how simple this is, man, like, oh. So I, I wanna do that one, but let me, let me hold. Oh, y'all see 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 right there that's that's so emotional <laughs> that that chord choice brings so much emotions in there the fact that he went to the the b half diminished instead of the one because normally he was going right but he went right so so man so he's teaching me a lot because i that means that if i'm playing holy 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 i don't have to go to the one See that? Man. See how much he's teaching us? <laughs> you know, we just said regular old half diminished chord. Remember that chord? And then we're at the holy, holy, holy. That's where I'm at. So, blessed trinity. How about we do this? Right? Right. Yeah, yeah. So, blessed I'm gonna try to work this out in my ear. Right. So, man. So, all of these chords and these these unique chord choices that we're using that allow you to just to improvise and just kind of pull these great um, great sounds out, all from Keith Jarrett. It's really cool. And this was a video about how to incorporate um, Keith Jarrett's playing into your own vocabulary let me know if you want me to do this with other artists we can do this with a bunch of artists um if you want to um but you know i definitely recommend that if you are not studying some of these greats some of the masters these are the guys that you need to be studying um and in and, and in fact um take some time listen to some of the albums um, and if you'd like to go a lot further than this video um actually i broke down this entire song amazing grace by keith jared and it's so cool the way I broke this one down. Uh, I want to tell you, I basically, I listened to the song first and I found out some patterns that Keith Jarrett was using. And so basically um, I teach you those chords and those patterns at the beginning of the song. So that by the time I actually teach you the song, it's going to seem very simple. You'll have it uh, in less than half an hour, guaranteed. So, um, so if you want to check that out and look at the link, you can join Bia. If you're already a member, that's going to be up for you. So you can watch that. Definitely recommend you play that song because it shows you how uh, some see some unique ways to voice some chords and how to do some hymns and stuff. So go ahead and check uh, take a look at that. Everybody else, thanks for coming today. Glad you guys are here. Thanks for coming. Thanks for um, joining in, watching. Hit that like button, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Check y'all later. <laughs>